Hello, you do subscribers and watchers. This is Anki, and you are watching Slide Nerd. Today, we're going to learn about data types in Python. The following are data types in Python. First, numbers, strings, list, tuples, and dictionary. Let's look at each of them individually in detail. Numbers in Python. The following are types of numbers in Python. Integer, long, float, and complex. Let's have a look at each of them in detail. Here I have a variable int and I have assigned a value 23. Next I have a variable float assigned a value 22.73415. Next, I have a variable long assigned a value 199, etc, etc, etc. Now, I'm going to print these values of the variables. So, I have print int, comma, float, comma, long. When I press enter, I get the values which I have assigned to the variables. Now, if you actually look at these classes of this particular variables, mind you, before I go ahead, everything in Python is actually represented as objects and classes. So let's look at what is a class for this particular variable int. The type of int belongs to the class integer that is int. The type of float belongs to the class float and the type of long strange it belongs to the class int. Mind you in Java we normally say int variable name equal to integer float variable name equal to a floating value and long variable name equal to a long value which is not the case in python let's take another example to clear this fundamental i have another variable as a equals to 10 i identify the type of a as class integer Next, I'm assigning a value of a as minus 786 and I identify the type of this particular value is again class integer. To identify the value of the variable, you should actually write type and the variable name in parenthesis. Let's take another example to understand float. Here I have a equals to 33.54 e100. I identify the type of A as type A and I press enter and I get the answer as A belongs to class float. Let's understand the example for complex numbers. If I assign A equal to 9.435 E minus 36 J, I get my type as complex. The point is if a variable is assigned with a number involving a j that is normally referred as imaginary number, the class or the type of the variable is defined as class complex. So if I have a equal to 45j, I get my class as complex and if I have a equal to 5e plus 29j, that is as good as writing 5e raised to 29j, I get my type as complex. If you like what you saw, like the video, comment and subscribe to SlideNerd. For more on Python, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.